Day two scatter wrap challenge yesterday, Paul Delaney and I had a pretty good lead core program going on. We were catching walleye. We were focusing on catching walleye, but lo and behold, the bass guys are padding their stats with gimme smallmouth. So maybe I'll have to sign on to that program today. I don't know. Make that bass clicker go off a few times, but uh, we had a great time yesterday just pounding on walleyes with a lead core. So I don't know. Walleyes or bass. We'll see who wins, but I'm guessing it'll be walleyes at the end of the day again. <laughs> yesterday it kind of boated a few surprises. We found out that the fish were pushed back, way back in these little back pockets and bays off the main tips of points. Today what we'll do, start where we left off, do that, but also go on some outside features on long shorelines that have boulders. We gotta find a way to make up some ground on the uh, bass guys. Well, we'll get them. Our fish are gonna have teeth. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the plan. Uh, you know, Lake of the Woods is so diverse, you start out in these northern sections and it's smallmouth heaven, and as we get down towards uh, the south end of the lake, things change quite a bit. So, you know, for us guys that primarily target walleyes, uh, today we're still looking at trying to slow down the rate at which the bass guys are getting out ahead of us, hoping that we're gonna be able to get down there in the southern parts of Lake of the woods and catch back up maybe even pull ahead day two boys here we go kick some butt today the living legend joel <laughs> nelson today. oh god you know it's Don't i never really had an opportunity to fish with joel so i just know uh, one thing we're gonna have a great time on the boat today <laughs> regardless if we catch one fish or if we catch goal of 100 yeah but if we catch one or 100 it's, it's gonna be a blast yesterday we took a shot in the dark we went up to an area beautiful area up near Kenora we were close enough to where I could see a water tower I'm not sure if that was actually a Kenora's water tower or not but I could see buildings so we uh, know that we ran a long way up into Canada it was a brand new area for us uh, you were along with uh, in the same general area fishing in another boat and uh, you know when you do something like that you run for an hour in one direction into an area you've never fished it's quite a challenge I mean you don't have any clue where to start there's very little information. I mean, you go pouring around on the internet looking for information for that area, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the thing. Everything looks the same out there. I mean, it's island after island after island. You know, as the day went on, we just kind of developed a pattern. We got onto some windswept shorelines that had broken rubble. And that once we developed, yeah, once we developed that, we just kind of jumped from piece of structure to piece of structure, keying on that, and that's what we got our fish. Well, you know, we pulled nearly 90 fish between our two boats yesterday. That's not bad. Well, for a couple good. of you know shots in the dark, never been there before. Let's you know throw a dart at the wall and see what sticks. Uh, I feel pretty good about it. stepping into a bass boat. I'm a bass guy when I grew up. I'm going back to my roots. I am so excited to be fishing with you today. We are gonna put the smack down. I'm feeling a little scatterbrained. I think it's good. <laughs> It'll be good. How come he's up there and I'm down in a beautiful the day? The sun is shining up here on Lake of the Woods. Scatter apps galore. And guess what? They're catching fish. I could prove, I could tell you as of yesterday, they were catching fish. They'll catch <laughs> fish again today. That's awesome. Yeah. Fun. I would say that three quarters of the walleyes that we caught yesterday were over 20 inches. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. quality fish. And it was a blast catching them, you know, cast and just seeing that bait come off that break line and boom. So, uh, you know, I love catching fish anyway, whether we're trolling for them or casting for them. Uh, but I don't know who doesn't like to feel that fish go whack when you cast them. Target number one today. You might think it's a walleye or a big pike or whatever. The guy in yellow. We're going to catch him. Oh, yeah. You but like I see said. See the man in yellow? Yeah. We're going for him. <laughs> Absolutely. But our fish are going to have to eat. <laughs> the fish are going to have to cooperate. Oh, no question about it. They're going to be bigger fish, and like I said, fish with teeth. <laughs>